to another episode, Man vs. Wild, East Oakland Edition, episode seven. Now I'm up here doing a photo shoot, and I just happened to dip off and find a snake. How lucky can I get? Now I'm up here in the Oakland Hills, and I just found a brown sharp tail snake. One of the rarest snakes you can find in California, and I was very lucky to find the snake. So let me show you what I just found real quick. It's called a brown sharp tail snake. I'm up here at a photo shoot, and I caught a snake. I couldn't help myself. If that's comfortable with y'all, if that's comfortable with y'all and, and where y'all at, I can't wear shoes. My shoes are bright pink. I'm putting my shoes. Just caught a blue tailed skink, uh, skink. lizard. Caught a uh, ring neck snake with the yellow stomach, gray body. Ring neck snake. It's my second ring neck snake that I ever caught. Caught it right here on this mountain. Nice looking snake. All right, I'm about to put them back and see what else I can find. All right, here's ring neck snake number two, a little smaller baby one with the orange stomach. Leaves musking on me. Musking means that, you know, they release their bowels, has a odor. So just in case if I was trying to eat them, he'd smell bad and I wouldn't want to eat them. So that's what that little white stuff is, that snake shit. But it's a ring neck snake number two. It's a baby one. See a little ring around his neck? That's why they call them ring neck snakes. And, they, and that orange color, they mimic poisonous uh, salamanders because that orange color represents poison on top, toxic on top of the salamanders. So predators that know about the salamanders won't eat the snake because they'll think that he's poisonous too. All right, I just found a tarantula. You see that big ass tarantula right there? Let me get it to move for you. Pretty big. So look, I'm pointing at it right there. It's a baby tarantula. See it? It just moved. Look at it. Right, move these sticks out the way. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a tarantula right there. Let me see if I can catch it so I can get a better look at it. I put it in this bottle just, you know, I don't want to take a chance of getting bit. But I just caught this. Looks like a baby wolf spider. Or it may be a tarantula. Let me, um do my research on it because it looks like three different spiders and I'm not really too sure which one it is but I'll find out by the time I post this video and I'll put it in the description of what kind of spider this is that thing is huge look at it found a nest with some type of look like a reptile egg so I'm pointing at the egg right there and it's inside of a nest so it might be either an alligator lizard or it might be a um, snake, baby, uh, uh, snake egg. So if it's an alligator lizard, I'm pretty sure the mother is somewhere close by because they guard the eggs. Let me see if I can find the alligator lizard. Give me one second. That's right. I just found the mother to that egg, which is a female alligator lizard. She's beautiful. Look at those scales on her back. And that's where they get the name alligator lizard because of those scales on her back. Look at her eyes. This thing is like longer than my hand. So this is a pretty big lizard. So I'm gonna put her back so, so she can guard her um, egg or eggs. The close up of the female alligator lizard I have found. Isn't she gorgeous? Now there's a close up of those scales on her back. The reason why they're called alligator lizards. Their long tail, she's beautiful. Look at her. All right, I'm about to release her let, her, let her go back where she came from. Look at this big baby I just caught right here. This is a Pacific gopher snake. A big one too, medium size. Well, these things get about 10 feet, so... Look like this one is about four feet, so he's still a baby. Still a baby. Can we like move around each other? Or you want us to stay, stay, stay? Depends on how much you, you got those shoes going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, if you want to just glide. <laughs> yeah. 